Good morning from Scotland, Glasgow. I've just arrived here on another adventure with my sidekick, Fed. He's back. I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> and we are on a journey to the most remote pub in the UK. Why is it the most remote? Well, this pub, you can only access it by an 18 mile trek or a seven mile ferry ride. You, there's no roads that go in or out on that island. So that is the only way you can get there. I wanted to go trekking, but Feddy over here wanted to rent a car. So that's why we're going by car. So Feddy, you already got the keys? Fantastic. Oh. Show us the car. I've only just arrived like five minutes later than Fed because I flew from a different airport. So I don't know what this car looks like. But this will take us all the way to the town of Malia, Malieg, Malieg, I think it's called. And that is where the ferry port is. But we're going to stop halfway at Fort William. So I'm looking forward to this Scottish Highland adventure. Let's do it. So we're on our way to Fort William and look at the Highlands, the Scottish Highlands, beautiful. And this is the car which I promised to show you, which in fact I'm driving because Freddie over there has been a bit lazy, but it's not bad. Gets you from A to B, automatic, I love automatic, Freddie loves manual, God knows why. He's outdated with technology. <laughs> and over here, there's a little river, which I won't be able to see on this camera, but hoping we can see a bit further down. Right, time to go on. So we finally made it in Fort William and we're greeted to the lock, the lake opposite our hotel. Look at this. Beautiful Scotland in the Highlands. And we're stopping at this hotel opposite. Well, it looks like it's falling apart, but it's called the uh, Caledonian. The most important thing is a bed and we're halfway there to the remote pub which we're going to tomorrow I'll see you all then so we're on our way to Maleg to catch the 1015 ferry we're four stop off halfway between Fort William and my leg, look at this. Beautiful day, hopefully. With the sun coming through. And the highlands. Oh, it's beautiful here, the fresh air. And there's our car there, Sveddy. <laughs> Fred, I'm driving, get away from that. <laughs> right, we're gonna continue the journey to make sure we catch that ferry at 10.15. Let's do it. And we finally made it to the port of Malag. And they even have an advertisement to visit the most remote pub, the Old Forge community pub and that is where we're heading right let's check out the boat it's actually pretty nice around here for fishermen anyway <laughs> i've been told the boat which we're going on for 45 minutes is this one here called the western isles look at that beauty 
There she is. So I'm quite surprised how small this ferry is compared to obviously Indonesia and Singapore one I went on a couple of weeks ago. This is like a mini ferry which apparently has a whiskey bar inside which I hope to try it out <laughs> right we're now waiting to board this ferry and here we are in the inside of the uh, boat and apparently there's a bar downstairs that's what we're going to check right now The famous whiskey bar, right? What's that? The famous whiskey bar. It's the one by it. <laughs> Definitely gonna have a whiskey in a sec. <laughs> and the downstairs, look at that. And the life jackets just in case. Right. Time to check out the whiskey bar. And we've got the famous whiskey bar on the uh, ferry to even uh, the uh, old forge pub look at the selection you got here i've decided to go for the uh R stone because of the sea gas early morning but you've got to have some traditional scottish whiskey haven't you cheers And we have made it finally after that 45 minute ferry journey oh this is beautiful fresh air look at this well not looking at the boat i mean look at the uh, the landscape and the countryside this is beautiful wow hello <laughs> some lady waving there <laughs> and there's a ferry just at the back of that bush which is just uh arrived on there it is and now i understand why it's the most remote pub it's just here the pub the good news is it's there but the bad news it's not open until 12. but i made it that's the most important thing and i'm happy and i can't wait to see what's inside it Here. Oh, they got tenants. Seven peaks. Ah, oh, the goons. And darts over there. Yeah, I'll give you a game of that later, Fetty boy. <laughs> right, let's check the other side. So that was the uh, the wee bar. Ah, oh, Fetty's coming over this side as well. And this is the normal bar. Let's have a look. This is obviously the restaurant area. 
Let's have a look down here. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry. Cheers, thank you much. And an old mantelpiece, wow. But it's nice in the winter being next to that. Oh, I like it. Beautiful. The most remote pub in the UK. Wow. So it's just started raining again, but the pub is open and I'm happy I've got my beer at the Old Forge. Success. I definitely would recommend for anyone who visits the UK to come here to have a pint. It's beautiful, the area. And this pint put me back only five pounds. So it's even cheaper than London. Right, I'm gonna go inside because it's about to uh, rain heavily. See you all in a bit. It's now time to head back to my leg on the ferry but before I go I'd like to thank you for watching this video on the most remote pub in the UK which let me remind you is over here well, there's actually people there now <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe and like below and there'll be more videos coming soon bye for now